Have you ever stood in front of an ATM, typed in the amount you wanted, and watched as the machine word, clicked, and handed you the exact bills you asked for? It feels like magic, but it's actually the result of some pretty fascinating technology working behind the scenes. In this video, we're going to break down exactly how do ATMs know exactly how much to give, how it physically counts and dispenses your money, and what happens if something goes wrong, right here on History of Simple Things. At first glance, an ATM, or automated teller machine, might seem like a glorified vending machine for money. But it's far more advanced than that. It's connected to banking networks, runs on secure software, and uses mechanical systems to count and deliver cash with extreme accuracy. But before we dive into the hardware, let's start with the digital side of things. When you insert your card into an ATM, the first thing it does is read the magnetic strip or EMV chip embedded in your card. That tiny chip holds essential data like your card number and what bank issued it. Once the ATM reads that info, it communicates with your bank over a secure network. Think of it like sending a quick request to verify your identity and get permission to access your account. Once your bank responds and confirms everything checks out, the ATM allows you to proceed. This part typically happens in a few seconds, but behind the scenes, it's a rapid exchange of encrypted data. Now, you punch in how much cash you want. Let's say you choose to withdraw $80. The ATM sends that request to your bank asking two key questions. Do you have at least $80 in your account? Are you within your daily withdrawal limit? If the answer to both is yes, the bank sends a signal back, giving the green light for the ATM to proceed with dispensing the money. If not, well, you've probably seen the insufficient funds message before. This is where the mechanical magic begins. Inside every ATM are several cash cassettes. Each cassette holds a different denomination, say $20, $50, $100, depending on the location and region. Some machines only offer one or two types of bills, while others, especially in banks, can offer more options. Let's go back to your $80 withdrawal. The ATM has to figure out how to build that amount using the available denominations, if it has $20 bills, it'll likely dispense four of them. If it also has $10, it might mix it up depending on what the software algorithm decides is optimal. Some machines even rotate which cassettes get used first to keep the wear and tear balanced. Now comes one of the most fascinating parts, the cash dispensing mechanism. Each cassette is equipped with a motorized feeder system. When the ATM needs to dispense cash, it activates the appropriate feeder, which pulls out one bill at a time using friction rollers or suction cups. As each bill is pulled out, it passes through a series of sensors, often optical or infrared, that count the number of bills and verify that only one bill is moving at a time. These sensors also check the size and thickness of the bill to ensure nothing is stuck together. If two bills are accidentally pulled at once, the machine will reject them and try again. This is why you sometimes hear extra clicking or see a small delay. It's recalibrating to make sure it gives you exactly what you asked for. ATMs are designed to be very accurate, but mistakes can still happen. If the machine senses a jam, double feed or mismatch, it will often cancel the transaction before cash is dispensed. If the error happens after the cash is counted, but before it's delivered to you, the machine keeps a record of the incident and your account might not be charged at all. Or it might temporarily debit your account, only to correct itself shortly after. 
That's why most modern ATMs have internal cameras and even ink stain sensors to detect tampering or theft attempts. Everything is logged for safety and audit purposes. Security is a huge deal when it comes to ATM operations. Not only is your personal information encrypted, but the ATM also keeps a digital and physical record of every transaction. It knows which bills it gave you, from which cassette, and even the serial numbers of each bill, if the machine is high-end enough. Every bill that goes in and out is tracked. This helps banks detect fraud, balance the machine's inventory, and assist if a customer files a complaint. So yes, when the ATM gives you cash, it knows exactly what it handed over. Of course, ATMs don't magically create money. They need to be restocked regularly by armored transport services. When that happens, trained personnel open the machine, count the cash going in and out, and ensure the cassettes are loaded correctly. The ATM software then updates its internal ledger, so it always knows how much money it has left in each cassette. Some ATMs even send automatic alerts to the bank or service provider when they're running low on a specific denomination or when maintenance is needed. You might think the ATM always gives you the simplest combination of bills, but that's not always the case. Some machines are programmed to dispense certain denominations more frequently to help balance the cassettes. Others adjust based on user patterns or time of day. For example, during lunch hours, it may prioritize giving out smaller bills since more people are likely making small withdrawals for food. The brain of the entire operation is the ATM software system. It's responsible for every step from card authentication to withdrawal verification to cash counting and dispensing, this software is regularly updated to maintain security and efficiency. It also runs diagnostics to make sure all sensors, motors, and communication systems are functioning properly. So now you know, ATMs don't just hand out cash randomly. They're intelligent machines with a lot going on behind that little screen. From banking networks to bill counting sensors, it all comes together to make sure you get exactly what you asked for. No more, no less. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.